All right. Um. Should be, okay. There you go. This is gonna be a quick overview. Let me move my mic a little bit closer to me. My bad. <clears throat> of Amtastic. And music super loud. Um. But basically, with Amtastic, uh, if you've heard of Aim Hero, or if you've seen people like Effect play it, or um, any other FPS streamer, um. Basically, it lets you set your sensitivity for um, Overwatch or CSGO or Source or Quake or whatever. Um, and you can train your muscle memory for that game in this game. And a lot of people are very against it. They say um, that with Overwatch's sporadic movement, because you... In Overwatch, if you didn't know, um, there's no velocity. Or there's no acceleration, my bad. Uh, meaning that if I'm running left and then I want to run right, it doesn't take me time to accelerate to full speed to go right. I immediately am full speed. Where in other games, traditionally, that's not the case. So a lot of people have said negative things about aim trainers and said it's better to just play the game, get a practice mode with bots, etc., etc. But sometimes you just don't want to. You don't want to open Overwatch. You don't want to set up a practice game. And even then, the bots that you set up, they're not going to have good movement, even on the hardest difficulty. So in reality, what are you training yourself for? Why not just do this? That That's my opinion on it. Yours could differ. But I'm letting you know it's there. Um, okay, so really quick. Last time I played this, I was playing on 800 DPI, 3.5 in-game sensitivity. That's since changed because I, I've been having a hard time keeping up, honestly, with the Korean tracers on such a low sense. So I'm, I've moved up to 6.10, 800 DPI. Um, so forgive any terrible misses, XC. Um, but yeah, so you just put in your, um, your Overwatch sense right here. And it will um, move you accordingly. Now, horizontal FOV. 103, just like an Overwatch. Should be the same. Change your input. You can change your graphic settings. You frame rate cap. Cap your frame rate at the same frame rate you cap it at in Overwatch. <clears throat> That's very important. Crosshair. You can. Uh, I'm not sure if the current build allows for it, but a previous build did. I know for you to upload custom PNG files for your crosshair. Um, but they've since added what seems to be a very nice. I actually used this briefly. Uh, I don't know what happened to my crosshair save though. Um, customization. It's pretty handy. So the dot honestly shouldn't be there. I'm a little bit confused as to why it's there. Weird. Okay, it's gone now. Uh, it's awkward. Whatever. Apply. So I'm I'm moving around in the game, and and you can walk around. There's various things you can do. Um, different. Um. Uh, like drills. I would guess you would call them. The simple circle. So walking around is pretty. I don't know anybody who actually does this. I don't. I just click play, and then you can go through uh, the different modes. Bigger than smaller. Yeah. Uh, rank one, by the way. Uh, anyways, so there is a Steam leaderboard, um, which everybody who has the Steam version of the game, uh, your score is automatically uploaded to the leaderboard, and uh, that's pretty neat. That's for each, uh, each mode. There's a leaderboard, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, but some pretty big names play this game. I turned Dante onto it. He's really liked it. Uh, Icefelt's got some scores on the leaderboard. I don't know how extensively he's played it. He's actually the person I found it through. Um, uh, Tails, Cantus, Lull. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so there's tracking and 360 tracking. And again, I just like almost more than doubled my sense. So please no flame. I just sat down from eating and, and working and stuff, but... Um, this is basically what it is. And that's really loud and I know. Um, but it, it, you track it for like 30 seconds or something and you can change the duration up here and, and all that. Um, and I actually think that's really cool, the room settings, so you can modify what exactly, uh, you're, you're doing. And that's super handy in my mind. Uh, so we'll get that back down 30. There you go. Anyway. Um, that's cool. And then there's 360 tracking, which, yeah, it's, you're just tracking in 360 degrees. Okay. 
Um, so the one that most of you are gonna are gonna gravitate towards is the tracking probably, and then bigger than smaller, which is just this kind of thing that you've probably seen a lot. Yeah, I set over him. So you, you've definitely seen this before, and it speeds up and more, uh, and the difficulty of it gets harder as you progress. So it makes getting a higher score more difficult the longer you play. Then there's reflex which is super handy, and I encourage everybody to try it. Um, but this is it. Okay, hold on. That's a yikes. Anyways, reflex, and then there's like skeet shooting. I think this is more CS oriented. I don't really see the application of this in like Overwatch or whatever, but um, maybe in, okay. That's actually Dan's game. I don't like that. I don't see application of it, and I'm bad at it. Um, but th there are a ton of different modes that you can go choose from. Um, we wizards quickly adjust. That's a planned feature, but it's not implemented just yet. You can change your the shot sound of what your gun sounds like when you shoot it, um, or the hit sound. Right now, I have it on quake hit sound. There's no Overwatch um, sound file in, implemented as of yet. I don't know if there will be. We have a stats panel. Um, I don't think it's working just yet. Again, this is like a it's like an alpha or beta. I'm not sure. Um, workshop, which I imagine is going to be where Steam Workshop stuff goes. Credits. Um, so they wrote it with the Unity Energy. It's written with the Unity engine. Uh, Victor Moller made it. It was originally called Moller's Aim Trainer. And I think there's another guy that's been pushing build up or updates for it and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So this is what I think would help a lot of people that are coming from console or coming from never having played FPS before, like myself, or coming from maybe playing a support role or and you know maybe your sensitivity was pretty high because you didn't necessarily have to aim all too precisely um and maybe you want to play soldier or another hero that requires you to be a, a tad more precise than what you previously were doing um this is a great way a stress-free way mind you um to just kind of kick back and and build that muscle memory and and figure out how to aim um, one thing I want to stress is that until you have bad practices out of your aim, like if you're doing things that you think you shouldn't be doing, like if you're, if you aim with your wrist only, um, first of all, try not to, it, it, it hurts after a while, you will fuck yourself. But, um, so wrist only aiming is sketchy. Um, but like say if you aim with your arm and you have a lot of the weight of your arm on your desk and what you what you've noticed is that a lot of your hand is dragging on your mouse pad maybe um which makes it harder for you to pull left pull down left um if you have things like that that you're still working through do not grind this because what you're going to do is you're going to instill those bad habits in your aim and it's not going to help you at all it will do the opposite so definitely take the time to figure out what you're doing wrong whether you're over aiming or under aiming the majority of the time, things like that. So if you have a VOD of yourself playing, it's really, you know, look at it, see what you can see, what you can notice just in your aim alone. Um, but I'll leave the link to this in the description, the subreddit. Uh, if you want the steam key, I think you can go to the discord or you can message the guy on Reddit. He was really nice. I, I messaged him about the possibility of giving me viewers keys and stuff because people always ask what I'm doing uh, during queue. So yeah.